Hi. Usually no new functions will be added in service packs in C Engineer. But in the service pack 1 of the version 24.0 we have an exception. There are two functions which were missing by, with the transfer from the old user interface into the new one. The first one is projection in the working plane and the second one is offset. My name is Ivan Belesh and I am support engineer for SCIA and IDEA Statica. We are in SCIA Engineer. Uh, very important, you have uh, to use the service pack 1 of the version 24.0. So 24.0.1 and some number. We have some walls and this is what we will draw, some walls and plates and so on. So only to see what we will do, I will delete everything and start again. So first, do a mistake. I will start with a wall. 3 meter is the height on the bottom line. And I start at this point to here from this point to here and from this point to here and this point to here. So important, I am in the top view. If I click on a point here, then there were only this DWG file in the background. So, or the lines from this DWG file. So I had only a point in the, in the, in the XY plane. The XY plane is here. But, after I have drawn this wall for the second wall, if I click on this point, I have two points in the height. I have one point in the height of three meters and one point in the XY plane. So I don't know which one will the engineer use, some of them. So it's very easy if you are in 3D, then you can click it. But if you are in the floor plan, it's, it's uh, more comfortable to do these jobs or draw the geometry in the floor plane or, or you are in some plane, for example, for your roof. So, and let's look what we have drawn and it's a little bit confused. So I will delete it and do it again with this new function. So go again to the top view and I will activate the work plane. The work plane is a function. So you can create also a shortcut for it. So snap to work plane. And okay, I have added previously shift and Z, for example. So you can add some some another uh, shortcut, what, whatever you want. So you see shift Z, oh. shift Z is deactivated, shift Z is activated. Okay, it works and we can start with our wall and first one, second point, and again, first point, second point, first one, second one, and first one, second. Let's check it, and everything looks okay. What happened during this function? So I will deactivate it, move my coordinate system to this point, and draw a plate then you will see it a little bit better what, what happened. Now we activate again the work plane and I draw, because I don't have points here, I, I would like to draw some, some plate, for example, through these points or through these points. Better? Ah, this one, this one should be, should be okay. So I start at this point, we have one. So uh, or I could start all those in this point, but but here I don't have the point in the height where I want to draw it. So you can click the points everywhere. So this is not very good point. Uh, this one is better. This one and here. So everything which you select as a point will be projected in the working plane. Don't forget to deactivate the function because 
I would say I want to move my coordinate system to this point, but it will not work because I am fixed in the in this one coordinate system. So you have to deactivate them. Shift F7. Check it. Oh, something wrong. Shift F7. Uh huh. Okay. And now we can move it and I can move it here. So very simple. The another function is very useful for drawing of windows and walls. And this function is here the offset. So first I draw a wall with three meters the height. Uh, if you don't know, you can select lines if you draw walls or, or something else. So here, for example, and here. So you don't need to draw everything. And now I would like to draw a door, an opening here. The height should be 2.7 meter. I show it. Why do I do it with the mouse? 2.7 meter. 2.2 uh, meter, for example. So we go to opening select the wall so my coordinate system is now here in the wall but this offset is in global coordinate system so and the opening is a rectangle and i will start in the height so activate the offset in the height of 2.2 meter and the first point is here and you see i click here and the point will be selected 2.2 meters with offset in the Z direction. So from here and the second, I will deactivate it and go here. So only with two points and not construction lines, you can create doors and walls and whatever you do. So it's, it's simple. Maybe you don't know, you can copy openings from walls, from wall to wall if they are parallel displays. So I hope it was useful for you. It's a very short function. Thank you very much.